Greetings, my family in Christ. I hope you're doing well today. There's the hickory tree that was yesterday's backdrop. Today it's in the foreground. And there's some cedar trees that are coming along that are really starting to get some size on them. And I don't know if y'all have ever seen or heard of a climbing fern, but there is a climbing fern. And got some decorations on it. <laughs> It will stay green for a good while, and then it will go uh, dry up. So next year it will put out new faith. Um, new faith. <laughs> yeah. What am I saying? Next summer it will spring to life again. My word, I'm subconsciously going every which way, aren't I? And here's more cedar, another cedar grove, and there's some Japanese maples behind there that are kind of scrawny. Uh, that really can't see too good. There's honeysuckle and more cedars. This place has turned into cedar, cedar heaven, I guess. And Japanese maples, I noticed, are starting to turn. There's going to be oranges and really bright red and a yellow, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the yellow is starting to show up in some of these. It's it's kind of neat against the green. It's one of my favorites. And the orange is back there. Yep. And if you remember where I'm at, there's poison ivy that I've been, I will have to reckon with soon enough. And an old dilapidated bird feeder that works to keep the squirrels from getting hurt. I had that happen one time and I told myself I will never have another feeder that will trap the squirrels in any way. So I just feed the squirrels. And there, this one will turn really red. And there's another glimpse of the orange back there. That orange one really shows off. And it's probably the least, uh, see how crowded it is, but it will shine like crazy. And here is the underside of this Japanese maple with the light through it. That's kind of neat. Yes, and this one was, it was a, just a green tree and look how it's turning. It's just awesome. And there's gonna be some of the red. So it won't take long. It'll really turn colors here before you know it. So I just wanted to give you a tour of the Japanese maples. They're starting to show off and look so pretty and then they're gone, so we'll have a little bit of a show. So today's psalm is 87. It's a short one. It's a song of the descendants of Korah. On the holy mountain stands the city founded by the Lord. He loves the city of Jerusalem more than any other city in Israel. O city of God, what glorious things are said of you. I will count Egypt and Babylon among those who know me, also Philistia and Tyre, and even distant Ethiopia. They have all become citizens of Jerusalem. Regarding Jerusalem, it will be said, everyone enjoys the rights of citizenship there. And the Most High will personally bless this city. When the Lord registers the nations, he will say, they have all become citizens of Jerusalem. The people will play flutes and sing. The source of my life springs from Jerusalem. So, just a short song singing about how God will protect the descendants. And little did they know when Jesus would come that he would save all the people. He might have a favorite city, but he will save all the people who he is there to save all the people and it's up to them to accept him uh, but that's the plan and God's grace will save all and uh, brother Norman I borrowed your fray your saying and I really it really fit the situation it's better to believe in heaven and find out there's not one than to not believe in heaven and find out there is one. 
How true is that? And I'm glad you had said that and it, when it came to mind and my heart to say it, to write it for someone that just, I think it, it probably was a great point. So thank you for that. And bro, Sister Joyce, we're praying for you. I know you must not be feeling too good. You didn't stop by and you're so faithful and you just love God's word and you're so kind to me to encourage me. So I know whenever you don't appear and when write down your comments that you are not feeling good. And I know it's rainy and cold out in the desert, believe it or not. So I know that hopefully yesterday you just got a good day of rest. Sunday is a great day for that. And I, I don't I'm thankful for that. I hope you got some wonderful rest. So, my friends in Christ, I hope you are doing well, and you have a wonderful day. Tomorrow is Election Day, a pivotal time in our, our history and our democracy. It's been a long journey with campaign com campaigning, so we uh, don't know what tomorrow will bring. But stay safe, and... Uh, Keep your heart in God's hands and do shine His light where you can. <laughs> that kind of rhymed, didn't it? I love you all. Take care, and I pray many blessings upon your day. Amen, my friends. <laughs>